Where were you at Liners, man? There was about five signs of your mother there. Oh, yeah. She asked me when. Uh, yeah. All right. Tell them came I'll from Cleveland. There. I'll be there tomorrow for, uh, for bed. Getting up? No, he's not getting up till Shabbos morning. No, what are you talking about? They were talking about Ryan Brown. I got to sit next to Ryan Brown. That was an experience. Where's Suntag? Anyway, um, and he said he's getting up at four o'clock. M- M- Shiva's not, that's when he's getting up for Shabbos. The Shiva's not mm-hmm. over till Shabbos morning. And that's why he had a problem. Rudinsky told him that he could take a hot shower, right? Brown wasn't so happy with that. Yeah, I would love to know where Robert Rudinsky's getting that one from. So, oh, we're, we're recording already. <laughs> That was a hawk that was happening over there. All right. I hear you. Does everybody know the honored guest I have over here live in person? Oh, who's that? Gershon? Nope. Representing Liner. Aaron's wife. Oh, his wife. Yeah, yeah. Why would that be representing Liner? Because he's in person, that's all. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, but he's not like sitting right next to you and like he's sitting right across from me yeah. and holding you. Right. No, he's not holding on to my hand. No, that is not. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay, so okay. Before that, what time are we starting tomorrow? Anybody? What time is ski? Is what time? Six fifteen. Milka six oh five. Yakov. So. 530. 530. 520. 530 is certainly too late. Five, it's Mincha 605. So 520. Yeah, 520. Is that good for Island? 520? It is what it is, as they say. The, oh, it sounds like you're not so happy with it. No, it was. <laughs> okay. Um, fine. Okay, so let's go. We'll try and do a little bit more also so that we can, uh, we don't have to, tonight, we don't have to worry about it. Um, where did we leave? Oh, so we left off. So we were discussing the Pusik says, Chaga Matzas, Chaga Shavuos, Chaga Sukkot. So we said, how do you, how are we comparing? So one Madonna says that the do bal ta'achar, which is don't, when you can't delay your carbon, meaning if you promise to bring the carbon to the base of Mikdash, so you have to, uh, so you have to have three, you have three on type, right? So other Madonna said, you don't have three, you only have one or two or just Sukkis. So whatever it is, so um, what do you do with the Pasuk Chagamatas, Chagashuas, Chagashuas, Sukkis? So we said, we learn out from there that Shuas has seven days to bring the carbonus, so even though Shuas itself is only one day, it's compared to Matas. To, to Chagamatz, it's the Pesach, that you can you can bring the Korbonus to seven days. And the other opinion says you can bring the Korbonus for for eight days because you compare it to Sukkis. And we said, no, we'd rather go with the, we'd rather go with the Shita that says with Pesach because Tafasta and Ruhullah Tafasta. So you say, why does the Pesach even mention, um, why does the Pesach even mention Sukkis? To tell you that Sukkis, you have to sleep overnight. Right? That's what we left off. Fine. So now the problem is that the, the opinions that say that you need Chagamatzas, Chagashuz, Chagasukas to tell you that Baal Ta'achir is only for all three Yom and Toivim. So how do they know that you have to, to do Tashlumen for Shavuos? Right? How do we know that? So that's where we left off. Three lines down from the top. But Tanakamba, Rav Shimon, Tashlumen, Latzeres, Midalu. How do they know that you can bring the carbon for Shavuos for seven days. That Pasuk is not available. Wait, wait. What are you saying? You're saying that you have to do, to, what is it talking about? Which carbon is? Any of the carbon, Oila, Sriya, Shami, Nedava, whatever, all the, the three carbon. The, the three carbon that you have to bring on Yontif? Yeah, so if you can't be there. The, how the, the, is is simp- the reason you bring the carbon is to be is simple. simple. Oh, so I bring good. it three days after, so big deal. So what did I do? Anachanami. So for Simcha, you could be Yaitza even with somebody else's carbon or having meat. Right? But the no, was... no, not in the no, it's not a big shit to have but they had to have bus of carbon. No, excuse me. Correct. So you could have had somebody else's carbon. Okay. Had, I, I think Fine. I don't. I'm. I'm I, but Fine. meaning the others, but the other carbonus you could bring for seven days. You're right. Anachanami. Okay. You, it's hundred percent. It's a good point. 
right? That's the chi of simcha, you have to be yaitza. Which actually we're going to discuss nashim with simcha, is that uh, tomorrow's da, with the uh, nashim, with this whole thing. So you have seven days. So, the, so how do you know the ones that use chagamatz and chagashuz, chagasuvas to tell you that delaying bringing the carbonus for three days is, a pro, is, is the problem? Is right, that's what you need the puzzle for. So, how do you know that you're allowed to bring the carbonus for a week after Shavuos? So, we know how do you know that's a nafkalu with the tani rabba bashmul, the tani rabba bashmul, amra tara tara says, mana yamim, the kiddush chaydish. So, the puzzle says, ad chaydish yamim. Right? Meaning, how do you how do you how do you calculate a month, which we're going to get into more later in the Masechta? So it says you count the days, and then you makadish the chaydish. Which, by the way, there is a levana tonight. There are those that were not makadish the levana, at least there was, and it's it seems like there might be bad weather the next few days, so it might be good idea to do. So, anyways, so it says count the days, and then you and then you have rishchaydish, mana yamim. So count the days, which kiddush atzeres, and be makadish shvuas. Which means what Machaydash and Menuyov, just like when it says count the days. How many days is Rashaydash? One day. Right? How do you know Rashaydash is one day? Maybe it's more than one day. Because the Pasik says count the days, and then you have Rashaydash. So counting days. So whatever day, so what you're counting is days. So then when you get to Rashaydash, one day is Rashaydash, because that's what you counted. Shavuos, it says count the weeks. Right? So so ma chaydish lemenuyim, just like rish chaydish is for what you counted. So it's one day rish chaydish. Apat seres lemenuyim. So shavuos is also for what you're counting. What do you count for shavuos? Shavuos is called shavuos because it's seven weeks from from uh, from Pesach, right? So that's that's only shavuos. leading up to shavuos. It's not the actual yont of shavuos. Correct. But what we're doing is we're saying that when it says to count till shavuos. So whatever you're counting is what you're supposed to keep. So since you're counting weeks, so shvuas lasts a week. But you're right, David, because if that's the case, so why don't we make shvuas last a week? Right? Here we're saying shvuas only goes one day, but you get to bring the carbonus for six more days afterwards. So we're, some, we're taking it something in the middle. Right? We're doing it somewhere in the middle. What type of drush is this? <laughs> I, I can't say it's an easy drush shot, either. No, I I, 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 usually the dresses fit into a certain category, either hackish or something. What type of dress is this? I don't know. I don't know. It took me a while to figure this all out. Also, for counting weeks, maybe we should, maybe Shavuos should be weeks for That's Tashlumen. right, exactly. So, no, no, it should be not one just week. one week. It should be weeks. You're counting weeks for Shavuos. That no, doesn't follow the week, progression of the dress. enough. One week is enough. But the thing is, according to what you're saying, so there should be one week of Shavuos. Not one day of Shavuos and then six days for, to bring the Karbanas. Okay, but whatever it is, the point is that the Drasha is, is that Rosh Chaydesh is one day because it says to count the days and then have Rosh Chaydesh. So whatever you're counting, that's how long the holiday, whatever, should be. So that's Rosh Chaydesh in one day. So Shavuos, it says count the weeks. So therefore you have seven days. So then the Gemara asks the obvious question. Ema Tzeres Chad right? So you could say Shavuos is one day. Because it says, how many days do you count? Every day, we can, in Svira, we count every day, per day. We don't count weeks. I mean, we count weeks also, but we count days too. So who says? Now, Shavuos, we have two counters. We have a week counting, and we have a day counting. So maybe we should do it as a day, not a week. So Amarava, Atuatzeres, Yamin Meninon, Shavu, Yamin Do we only count days and not weeks? For Amar Mar, Mitzvah Lamin Ne Yamin, Mitzvah Lamin Ne Shavu. The mitzvah is to count both the days and the weeks. It says shvuas, which means weeks. So therefore, that's how we're saying that we know that shvuas, you have one week to do to do the karbonas. Didn't the Gemara just say last uh, last time at Tafas, remember like Tafas when it comes to drushes? I'm saying that's the first svar. You mean say so you should go, yeah. You should go with the day, not the week. Because here, I think, I think here the Pasuk says count the days and count the weeks, right? You can't, you can't deny that the Pasuk does say count weeks. So we're, we're going to go. It's not like we have a choice to go with one or the other. It says two days and weeks. So the Mela, you have to do, you have to do a week, right? 
that's a, that's the way I understand it. So, but I, I don't know. I'm not sure. It's a, this is a very, uh, for me, this is a very uh, hard, uh, this is a, a hard, a hard drug. But anyway, but that's what's coming out. The Shavuos has seven days. Fine. The ending about it now. So now going back to the original Bryson, we said Pesach also has Baal Ta'ach. Right? Bringing the carbon Pesach has Baal Ta'ach. Now how could that be? Who can Pesach be brought on Yom Tif? I mean, what kind of Baal Ta'ach do you have on carbon Pesach? Right? Pesach, Zimna Kfile, Pesach has a set time. You got to bring the carbon Pesach, first day Pesach, or, or Pesach Shani if you're coming. E Akrave Akrave. If you makrev it, you makrev it. Be loy akrev it. You pushed, you lost it. I mean, it happened to be that you have. I understand this. It's not called Baal Ta'acha from after Pesach to Pesach Shein. What do you mean? That's when you were Tame. Yeah, who cares? You, what do you mean? Well, there you were Ainus. Yeah, you're there you were Ainus. Didn't have a choice. What, you became a Tame by Ainus? No, but you bought whatever tumma that you had, so you're not allowed to bring the carbon. So they gave you a second chance. No, right? They give you a second chance, but it's but but let's say you decided you missed it. So then you get a second chance. But it's what, still about What do you mean you decided you missed it? What does that mean? It's uh, only if you're tummy. You get the second chance tume, only if you're tummy. Either tummy or your derech or koika. That's it. What do you mean by Derech Chaika? If you if you if far away, you stayed in you stayed in Haifa. You didn't go to Yerushalayim. You stayed in Haifa, so you parted from Karpen Besser. Because you're too far. So you were putter. Here we're talking about cases where many. What's a pshat about that? About that is you came to the base of Mikdash three times, at least according to the sheet that it says. You came three times and you didn't pay your chay, right? Which is actually pretty lenient when you think about it. You came three from a Shevet's perspective. You came here three times. You owe me Karbonus. And okay, so we give you three times. You had a creative accountant. <laughs> right. Well, if you get the five times, like, uh, like, uh, which, uh, who's, uh, which right. sheet was that? You really are. Right. Uh, right. <laughs> right? But, uh, but that's the point. So the carbon Pesach, it's only if, if you didn't bring it to Pesach Shani. So then that's not an issue. But here the Gemara says Pesach, you have three Yom and Tavim, the same thing as Baal Tachar. How could that possibly be? The current Pesach is either brought on Pesach Richard and that's or Pesach Shane, that's it. So Amar Abchista, and that this Teretz Akiva, if you can tell me Pshan and this Teretz, I would love for anybody. Amar Abchista, Pesach Kedi Nosbon. Pesach was just mentioned because it goes along with the other with the other two. Meaning 100% yeah, Pesach. The Yamad would be shorter without it. We can't make the Yamad any shorter. So we needed to I, add some stuff. It didn't say that. It didn't say that. But can you please tell me what, what? So because we're used to mentioning Pesach in the same sentence with the others. So we just threw it in there. And somebody can, un, can chas v'shalom mis, mis under, not, not learn halacha properly. Right? Kedinos, but means we put oh we put Pesach there too. So there it sounds like you have three Yom and Tavim to bring the carbon Pesach, right? So I don't know. So Pesach Kedinos, but it just it was just mentioned for no reason. Kedin means for nothing. Kedin means for free, literally. Okay, I can't. I don't. I don't understand yeah. what the shot of that. I don't. I, I don't understand it. The, no, none of the carbonus that are tied into Yom Tov. There's no Baltach. You can't bring it anymore. What, it, why wouldn't it be a Havamina? The carbon is that you're over Baltach, or if you owe a Shlomim, you owe a Chattis, you want to bring a Toyota. Right, you're, you're right, you're right. So you're saying, mm -hmm. so it's so posh it that nobody yeah. would make mistakes, so we might you're as well mention the you're word. You're and nobody had a Havamina. You could bring a Shalmate Simcha for Shuas a year and a half later. Like, what? Fair enough, fair enough. But I'm saying, so you're saying it's so posh it, nobody would make the mistake, we're just going to put it in there for no reason. Okay, I hear. I, I was worried about mistake, but I hear. I'm, I agree that that you wouldn't be able to make, you wouldn't make a mistake if it's so posh that you can't bring a carbon pesach. Okay, whatever. It's the other. Some of you yeah. don't learn that. Some of you learn that 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 that, that they talk. Uh, what he's saying is not kedinaso. They 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 they, die, they they have different gear size. He basically said that he's saying just remove it from the brisa. The Rebbeinu has something like that. 
Well, I'm saying, okay, there's, but I mean, there, there's a few, quite a few places in Shas, right? Um, yeah, there's quite a few places in Shas that have it like that. I don't know. I didn't see Rabbeinu Hanan. I didn't see Rabbeinu Hanan. Yeah, but it, it, the problem over here is it's even worse. It's not just Stam Kedinasa. It's it's misleading. Right. Meaning that's it's Mash the other Rabbeinu one. Rabbeinu can't possibly make a mistake. If it seems to be take, teaching the wrong halacha, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I know Hanami. Okay, so let's see. But that's the first there. Second there is Rosh Hashanah my Pesach Shalmi Pesach. What it means is Shalmi Pesach. So it doesn't mean that the carbon Pesach. That's posh if you don't have three Yom Torah for that, right? But what it means is a Shlomim for Pesach because we learn in Psachim that any time yeah, a carbon a carbon Pesach is essentially a carbon Shlomim. Right, but let's say you lost the carbon Pesach. So you brought a different one. And then you found the original. So then that gets brought as a shlum. So that, you have three Yom Tavim for that. That you don't have to bring right away. You have three Yom Tavim. So Yom Tavim. Okay, so that's a regular shlum, which the which the Bryce mentioned that shlum has three Yom Tavim. Tana Shlom HaBoy Machas Pesach, but Tana Shlom HaBoy Machas Pesach. So the Gemara answers that there's two types of shlum. There's a shlum that's coming because it was a carbon Pesach. And you have a shlomim that came by itself. Why? So what's the chiddush? Since the shlomim is coming because of the pesach, now on tamid beis, the pesach damo it's similar to the carbon pesach, and it has to be brought right away. Kamash melon that it doesn't. It goes back to the regular din of shlomim, which you have three yamim taivim or one yamim, whichever the machlokes is. All right. So that's that would be the chiddush. So now again, the second teretz is that. The shlum, it, the, when it says Pesach, it means the shlumim that takes over the Pesach if you had lost the original carbon Pesach. Or now, does the first Pesach count? Huh? If you find it, let's say in Cholmai. Yes, Chalmai. yeah, Rashi. Yeah, very good. Rashi, top Rashi says it. But Rego Misha and Yavra Right? No, that's just talking about mean, the one Pesach. One, it can, let me talk about Sukkot. I, I, he I doesn't thought, speak I up. I, I hear what you're saying. I, I understood it as the first Pesach. I don't know. I'm saying it, it also depends. He didn't say it's speaking about, you know, where you found it. If you found it after Pesach, I'm sorry, you can't say it's Baal ba- ba- Ta'achar until Sukh for that Pesach. Right. So it, that varies. I'm saying that nobody speaks out specifically that it's for whether right, it's yeah, that Pesach included or not. But I hear that. I hear. I, th- I understood it as Pesach, but you're right. It doesn't necessarily have to be. Okay, so then we said, you know, how do we know? How do we know this? How do we know that all these things are over on Baal Ta'ach? It's a ton of about You see the nether, when you make a nether, ain't the other nether. It only tells me that if you make a nether, you're over on Baal Ta'ach. Right? The dove, I mean, how do we know the dove? Right now, so now the Pasuk says, again, we, I think we said it yesterday, we'll say it again. The whole Pasuk is, he said, the nether, la shem, el kecha, loisa acher, la shamoy. You make a nether to Hashem, don't push off from paying it back. He Hashem because Hashem is dashing it from him and he wants it from you. And it will be a chait if you don't bring it. That's the puzzle. Right? So now the Gemara is going to go through that whole puzzle. So Kisid or nether tells you if a person makes a nether. Ain't the other nether. That tells you that only if you make a nether, which means it's a promise, which we're going to see later on that a nether means. That you promise to bring something to the base of Mikdash, and if something happens to that animal, you're responsible to replace it. And the Dava, if you're giving this animal as a present, if something happens to that animal, you're no longer responsible. That's the big difference between the nether and the Dava. So it says when you make a nether, ainly a nether, the Dava minayin, how about a present? Nemar kan nether, but nemar laalon, im nether ain the Dava. It says here nether, and it says further on, um, uh, by uh, um, nether in the dove. If you make a nether in the dove, yeah, um, that's also for carbonus. Yeah, you have to eat it. And uh, if there it's talking about, if you make a nether in the dove and you bring the carbon, you have to eat it. It's, it's nicer. I don't leave it over. Yeah. So whatever it is, it's there a shava from nether and nether. Ma, the hal the dove ima, just like further on, it's a nether in the dove. So afkan, the dove ima. So, so too, if you make an adobe, you also have to, you can be potentially be over about the acher. La Shem So it's the next word in the Pasuk is to Hashem, your God. Elu, Hadamin, Ha'erchen, Ha'karamin, Ba'akdashos. Right, so we said this a 
couple of times. Those are the two, those are the four types of ways that you can bring, um, donate money to the base of Nick. There's, there's, there's money and there's uh, the, uh, the, the, the uh, how do you call it? Dumb and the, the, not equal, what's it called? The word? The value. The word value, value, that's the word. Thank you. The value, Dumb and value. Erchen, we said, is, is when each person, a man gets estimated at 60 and a woman gets 40, whatever it is, these different age groups. Charamin is when you make something into cherem, any object, let's say your car, you said, I'm making it cherem, and then you have to give the word to the car. And hectish is when you make anything into hectish, whatever, all four of those, it says, don't push off from paying it. So it's, um, I'm sorry, I, I read it around since. So those means, elu domin erkin karamin and kashas, right? That's the next word in the passive. That's who. Um, so it means that it and not if you swap it out. Meaning if, if you switch the animals, let's say you're paida, let's say you say you're going to bring cow one as a carbon. And then you decide to switch it and you switch it out for another cow. So only the original cow has bal ta'achar, not the second cow. At least that's what it means. That's what it sounds like it means. Yeah, so kidara shidrashenu. Well, that's the next word in the pasuk. Elu hatos v'ashamos elu sushlamim. Those are the things that you really chayev to bring to Hashem because you did something wrong. So Hashem is looking out for them. Hashem alekecha elu tzedaka is umaiser to bechar. That's talking about tzedaka, right? Just you know, when you promise to give tzedaka, which the Gemara is going to discuss in tomorrow's Dab Rez Hashem, and meiser is is. Uh, is the Maisa Risha and all the thing and the Maisa and Bechar and that's the Bechar. So you have you have three Yom Taivim to bring all that to. Yeah? Then it says Me'imach from you. Zeh Leket Shikhov Heya. That you have to give Leket Shikhov Heya. Those are the things that you forget the grains in the in, in the field so that you also have Baal Ta'achar if you don't give it in its proper time. Ba'ya Bechal Chet the next word in the puzzle then it'll be a Chet Ba'ya Bechal Bechal Chet and it will not be a chet in your carbon, which means that the carbon doesn't become possible. Let's say you're saying, I'm going to bring this cow to the base of Mikdash for the thing, and you don't do it for three on the or whatever the amount is. So you're going to be either on an iser, but the animal doesn't become possible. The animal you can bring later on. It's no big deal. Right? Okay, so now the Gemara is going to analyze this whole thing. Omar Mar, don't push it off. It means it and not what you're swapping it out with. What exactly does it mean that you're swapping out the animal? If it's talking about you had an oil and you decided to switch it, meaning you, you're bringing ram number one. And you decided that you want that ram, so you switched it onto another ram, right? Or, or a shlamim. Yeah? And then what? And then you... Oh, that's not good. I'm sorry. That you can't... That's, it's, that's, that's called uh, tamura. You really not let it do that. But let's go in a regular case. You lost the animal. You lost the oil or you lost the shlum. So you replaced it. Right? Now you're ready to bring the new one and then you find the original one. So what do you do? They're both, they're both oilers and shlum. So if ichlub and oil shlum, right? So mikra karbi, you have to bring both. So why are you saying that you don't that you don't wouldn't be over on Balta? You would be over. If it's a khatas. That you can't be because you don't bring it. If somebody loses a chatos and then he replaces it and then he finds the original one, the original one has to die. You can't do anything with it. Right? So it can't be any of those. So what must it be? Then you switch the animal. You had a carbon tiger, right? And then it got mixed in, right? You lost it. Or Rashi says it's only where it got mixed into the, to the batch. Now you don't know which one to do. Yeah, so now what are you going to do? The Tani Rabhi, a Taidish in this hour of the Tmura. So let's say a Taida got mixed in with its Tmura, right? We just said, Tmura, you're not allowed to swap out animals, Stam, for no reason. You can't just say, oh, animal A, I want to bring, and oh, today I like animal A, I want to just be macro of animal B, I'm going to swap them. That's also to do. If you do that, then both animals have Kedusha. So let's say he did this for the carbon Taida. Now the carbon Taida comes with 40 loaves of bread, right? Plus the animal. So now what are you going to do? They now both animals got mixed up. You have no idea which one is the taida and which one is the tmura, the tmura of it. So what are you going to do? 
So again, the Tani Rabbi of Taida Shinas Tara of Hura, so we have a carbon Taida that gets mixed up with the animal that you swapped it out with, Umesa Achas Mien, and one of them died. So meaning if they didn't die, so bring them both with the with the bread. But if one of them died, you have no idea which one is which. So Chavarta ain't la Takano, because the, the Chavarta, meaning the one that's alive, there's no Takano. What are you going to do? Hey, you love it. How should you do it? The Karva is a Karva Lechabado. If you should bring it, and you bring it with its 40 loaves of bread, Dilma Turahi, maybe it's a Tura. Right? So you have to bring it without the Tamura, you only bring without the bread, because it's not the Ika Karva Taida. The Karva Belay Lechem, okay, so bring you without the bread. Dilma Taida, perhaps it's a Karva Taida. And the Taida needs to have the bread. You can't bring the carbon taida without the bread. So you're stuck. So therefore, you can't bring that as as a as that can't be the situation of swapping out the animal. So which one is it? Again, just to review, it can't be the oil and the shlomim because those you bring both. It can't be chatas because you don't bring a, a second carbon chatas. And it can't bring the taida. So which one is it? So what? the Gemara says, what's the issue yeah. with bringing bringing the breads with the tamura? It's chul and bazara. I just thought you can only bring it with the actual carbon taida. This is not the actual carbon taida. What do you lose by bringing extra bread? What do you? I, I, maybe it's not. There's the no here with the tamura, but you can be makdish bread. Right. Well, who told it's not. If it's mean? not, if it's the tamura, then it's a separate. Uh, you mean brought a mincha? Happens to have forty loaves. It's not a mincha. Art, art scroll, that's not, that's art not, scroll that's mentions not a it. Mincha. That's not a mincha. What isn't a mincha? Art, art scroll mentions it in the front of mincha. Why they not? what? Because it's not. I can bring any bread as a mincha. I mean, it no, sounds like a it's a takpah. It's, it's, it's only if they bring down, they bring down, he's, he's right, they bring down in the, the bottom of the they bring down a mi'iri that, that, that quotes a Gemara in Menachos that says, you can't just bring bread in anything that's unconsecrated. I mean, if it's not mukdashas, and if if this carbon is not even mukdash it, the whole idea is that when you shech the 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 carbon toy, this mukdash the bread, and then you could go ahead and bring it. But if your your shchita does nothing to it, you're being makar of the the chalais toida in the base of mukdash for no reason. It's not it's not mukdashas. You're not able to just bring carbonus in the base of Migdash for no reason. Right, but the, but the bottom line is Rashi says you're not toida, bringing it to carbon toida. You're not bringing stama mincha. You're bringing a toida. Right, but it's a it's a xeris akosav. It sounds like from Rashi. Rashi says in pechilut ve toida. It says kaimel and alzeva ha toida chalos ha toida to un the lechem v'loy chalifasa v'loy tamurasa. Right, but he's so saying just consider it a, a carbon without the without your stam bringing it. Forget that, forget that it's, it's not a, he's saying forget that it's a toida, but you can't just stop and bring the, the chalice of a toida without being a mikudesh. That's the point. Correct, but, uh, but, 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 it's a xerus a koshin. That's what it is. I think that's, he's, Rashi's just saying that you don't bring chalice with a tamura. Correct. But that wasn't Gershon's kasha. Well, he's asking what's wrong with bringing them. It's, wrong. it's time to bring. It's time to bring them without being a toidna. Well, what's the point? It's time you bring a mincha. I don't know. Uh, Suffolk, I don't know which animal this is. It's, it's not it's a, a mincha. It's not a mincha. Ivan, I right. agree with you. That's what he's yeah, quoting from. That's what he's saying. I'm just explaining what I was coming from. So yeah, I, no, I hear. I, I hear, apologize for that, Ivan. <laughs> I'm sorry for being <laughs> able to think. I really apologize. <laughs> well, we, you're thinking crumb. Uh, okay, everything that's not you is cruel. My apologies. Garrison, for being Garrison, you can, Garrison you're welcome to think, just don't think out loud. I didn't say that, <laughs> Garrison. That's not what I said. Play back the tape. That's not what I said. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it's good. It's good. But that's. it seems like it's in Sarah Sakos. Right? Okay, let's invite it. Well, Kivan the Lab Basakravi, Krolamute Lovely. Right? Um, so, so now, it, since it's 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 not a barakrava, So now, what do I need the pasuk for? Yeah, meaning. So now we have no reason. We have no. We have nothing that you're going to swap it out for. Yeah. So, so what do you need a pasuk to tell you that the the wing the things that you would swap the the carbon for um, can't don't not about tachar. Never. You don't have that situation. 
So Rav Sheshes, really it's talking about that that there's no balta acher when you switch oil shlamim. Lachem ma'askinan. What are we talking about? The guy in she'avru olav shnei regalim for humum. It's talking about where two yamim tovim passed, and then it became a mum. Then it became a bal mum. The chilulu al acher. So then, when it became a bal mum, so what do you do? You take another animal and you switch it. Over olav regal echod, and now there was over a regal echod. So again, what happened is, is you waited. Of course, you're trying to kick the can down the road. And you're supposed to bring this, you're supposed to bring the oil of Shlomim. And now two Yom Yom Tov have passed. You figure, okay, I'll bring it the next Yom Yom. You're waiting for the sale on the tickets for the animals, from the, for the plane tickets for the animals, for the next Yom Yom, right? So you didn't bring it the first two Yom Yom Tov. And then it gets a mum. So now what? So now you swapped it out for an animal without a mum. Then you miss the next Yom Yom. Does that Yom Yom combine with the first two? So now you're over on Baal Ta'ach, or do we say the clock restarts because it's a new animal? Right, so talk since it's coming from the first animal, meaning you wouldn't be bringing this animal unless it was because of the first animal that got a mum. So we would look at it that even though it only passed over one yom, but we combine it with the first of two yom and tayvim. So it's over on the yom kamash malon. So that's what the post is telling you. No, it's not. You're not over. You're not over just for one yom. Fine. Okay. So then the question is, will Rameir? Uh, Meir holds Kiman Shamal of Regal Echad over Valta Acha, right? We said Rameir holds only one Yom Tif. You don't bring it the first Yom Tif, you have Ramal Tacha. So, how is he going to understand this case of swapping it out? So, my Ekel Amema, what's he going to say? Marava, of my Askinon, Kigan Shuhum, and Besoycha Regal Vatilu. It became a, it became a Babu in the middle of Yom Tif. Meaning, so you brought it up. You talk about the animal for Yom Tif. You got to bring the oil of Shlom. So you figure you're not going to do it the first day. It's too packed, not the second day. So the third day, you're going to bring it. Then all of a sudden, you see there's a mum. And then, so so you swapped out the animal. Then over love a regal. And then you didn't have time to bring it. And then the regal passed. So now, according to the mayor, you were over on Balta'acher. Or were you? Because this animal wasn't there from the beginning of Yom Tif to the end. It became hectic only in the middle of the Yom Tif. So Sagadai Dechamina Hoyo Umikoya Kama since it's coming because of the strength of the first animal, it's as if the whole young to pass. Meaning, again, you have the first animal that you meant to bring, but you didn't get around to it. Then it became a bomb in the middle of young and then you swapped it out for another animal. So if you combine the two animals, you went the whole young to passed over and you didn't bring it. So according to Ramey, you should be high. But if, or do you look at it like it's just the second animal. So that's the Chiddush, Kamash Mulanda. You look at it only as the second animal and an entire Yom Tif didn't pass over it, no pun intended, and therefore you'll have you have till the next Yom Tif to bring it. Fine. Okay, so then the Gemara continues. It's going to be a Chait for you. Not on, in your carbon. It's not going to be a Chait. So we had said, what does that mean? That the carbon doesn't become puzzle. You become puzzle because you, you're over on an isan and you become puzzle. But you're over on an isan because you didn't bring the carbon in the proper time. That doesn't mean the carbon's puzzle. You bring the carbon whenever you want. So that's what this puzzle is telling us. But is it learned out from here? We can learn out that din from somebody else. So the din by a bachar, right? The bachar goes to the kayim. Yeah, the firstborn of animals go to the Kayan. So the Kayan is supposed to eat the Bechar, but he's supposed to do it within the first year. So let's say the Kayan left it out and he didn't bring it in the first year. So now you think, okay, maybe that it becomes a puzzle carbon. Right, it says you eat in front of Hashem, Maiser. And grain and tea rice is uh, grapes, wine and oil. So we make a hekish of bechar to maiser. Ma maiser ain't enough. So mishchan alachaver to maiser. You're supposed to bring from one year to the other, but if you leave it over, it doesn't become possible. You bring it in the next year. Af bechar ain't enough. So mishchan alachaver. So bechar also is not possible from one year to the other year. Right. So that we so so you see that carbonus just because the owner of the carbon messed up and didn't bring it in the proper time does not mean 
that the carbon becomes the, becomes a puzzle. So why do you need a pasuk here to teach that you can learn that from Bechara? So it's a very interesting teretz in how you look at carbon. It's That's we would have thought that it's a Bechar, that it's kosher, even if even if the kayin didn't bring it for the year. The la bar hatzahu. What do you bring a bechor for? It's not for kapara. You're not trying to to do tshuva to Hashem, right? Um, and it's not a present or anything. It's just it's that's it's the kayin bringing the carbon that he received from from the Yisrael, right? Avok kachim the bnei hatzah minhu, but kachim is bnei hatzah because what are you trying to bring a from the word Ritze in Shman Esri, you want Hashem to accept our carbonus, you want him to accept our dominant, you want him to accept our carbonus. So you're trying to make Hashem happy with it, but here it is that you let it sit for too long. So maybe Hashem's not going to be happy with your animal, right? Aim a layer too. Maybe Hashem's going to say, Hey, you could have brought this for the last year, you haven't. What are you bringing to me now? An old present, right? So, Kamashman, so you would think that that's what Hashem would say, and therefore it would be a uh, carbon that's possible. Kamashman, no, that even, even when it's you're trying to make Hashem happy, it's still, no, it's still, it's still kosher. Yeah, fine. So, I think what it says, Vakati, so still, we can still learn from something else. Vakati, me the Benaze nafka. We can learn it out from Benaze. We'll go a little further because, uh, so that tomorrow we can get the, the daf done if that's okay. So that we can learn out from Ben Azai. The Tanya Ben Azai, Oisai Ma So it says by Pigel. So Pigel is, is when a Kayan is supposed to bring the carbon for you, and in his head he has a machshava that, and there's no way to prove this. You have no idea what's going on in the Kayan's head. But if he has a machshava, then when he's being mock of your animal, he's going to eat it where he's not supposed to, or he's going to be mock of it, or he's going to eat it past the time that he's supposed to do it. So that makes the carbon puzzle. So it says, I saw in the passage, it says that it's not going to be thin. So what does it mean? I saw so it says you shouldn't push off from paying. That's the thing that we're learning. So I would think that somebody who doesn't bring his nether is also not going to be, uh, it's not going to be uh, accepted, meaning because. Just like Pigel is no good. So you would think that if you kept the carbon for too long, it's also no good. Only Pigel Hashem doesn't want. Somebody who pushed off his nether is not in Layiratza. So you can learn out from there. So you see clearly that according to Ben Azai, the carbon doesn't become puzzle. The, the human, the owner, did something wrong. The animal doesn't become puzzle. So why do you need a pustic to tell that to you? Ella, and we already learned from there a pustic. Ella, so now the Gemara changes, changes the shot totally. And this is this is a wild Gemara. For anybody that's uh, that's getting a little tired here now, this for Erev Shabbos Gemara, this is the Gemara for you. Right? Ella bechachet, alay beishtachachet. What it means is you did the chet, your wife did not do a chet. Yeah? What does that mean? You, you promised to bring the carbon, right? So you didn't bring the carbon. So you, why would you think your wife, she, what did she do wrong, right? In case anybody doesn't know, all, all belongings belong to the man, not to the woman, right? And according to halacha, at least, right? So it's not her avera. So So you would have thought, right? One of the more fascinating gemaras in Shas. Yeah, for, for you, for Yeshua March, we do yaitz. Right? Yeah. So, so, ain't ishtay shala, the mesa, a woman, a, a man's wife doesn't die, el im came vachim in a moment, the ain't love. Unless you, somebody is looking for money from the man and he doesn't have, which means, which means that he either stole or he borrowed, he doesn't pay back his loans. Anything like that. Meaning, when a man takes money that doesn't belong to him, that's why his wife dies. Shanemar im ain't lachal shalim, lamun yikach mishkal from itafecha. If you have not, if I, if you have nothing to pay, why should he take your bed from under you? Which we say that a bed is a woman. So you would think that if a person's wife dies because he owes people money, aim a Baha'i oven the Baal Tacher Nami So here, when you owe Hashem animals, 
So you would think maybe the wife will die if you don't pay Hashem back in a timely fashion. Kamash Malan, the Pasuk is coming to tell you, no, 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 the wife will not die because you're not over on, because you're over on Balta. The what wife has mean? nothing to do with it. What? What does that mean? What, is the hey, what does this mean? Uh, let me tell you. I, I, I don't know. I, I have no idea what this means. To be honest. I know there's Merkulach out there, or da, 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 but I, I can't say that there's any, I can't say that I have, uh, right? Um, I have a shot that why one's wife should die if he owes people money. I'm saying Sheva Brach is tired as there are, but. Uh, like what? What? What do you have? Because if you're, that means you're not ready right for marriage, if you don't know how to give people back money, you know, these type of things. But, uh, but I don't know. Okay. Meaning it's very nice if it's, if a Musavot, it's very nice Musavot. You say, okay, somebody's wife dies, he doesn't pay back. Fine. But here we're saying that the Pusset is coming to tell you that don't think that a wife is going to die. Right. Because you didn't bring your kabbonis in a proper time, and you'd have a habamina like that, kamash one, you don't. I don't know. I don't know what. The... What did the wife do? I mean, the wife is you did something wrong, so the wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a shvera. It's a shvera gemara. The truth is, the ikkul gemara is in uh, what was that? Was it? It's not in. It's in the darim, I think. No, if I remember correct. The darim. I don't know. Anyways, so I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know. Okay, so let's just do a little bit more. So turn around. Maitzis vasecha. The next pasuk is maitzis vasecha, right? When it comes out from your mouth, zu mitzvah say. So it's a mitzvah say. Whatever comes out of your mouth to keep your word. Which, by the way, there's a lot to learn from that line too, right? Maitzis vasecha means um, whatever you comes out of your mouth, you should keep which you learn from this, that you got to keep your word, right? The, the, unfortunately, in the world of uh, Mishpat, you got people backing out of agreements right and left. They say, I didn't sign a contract. They didn't say, what do you mean? <laughs> you said you agree that you're going to do this, right? People say they're going to buy houses. People say they're going to sell them houses. And then a better deal comes along and they back out. Okay, it's a mitzvah to say. It's not a lois said, but you have to keep. You got to keep your word. Right? It's the same thing. If you said you're going to bring Korbanas to Hashem, so you got to keep your word. That's the mitzvah to say. Tishma, what, what's, mitzvah. The mitzvah, what's the mitzvah to say? What do you mean? Maitzi Svasecha. Uh, uh, Tishma. You have, what comes out of your mouth, you have to watch. You have to watch what comes out of your mouth. Right? So that's a, it's a mitzvah to say. Uh. Now, when can you back out of things? When can you now get that's already all that's all the big sugi, Bez the Shem and the Nizikin, we'll get to it. So again, what does it say? What does it say? Tishmar, Tishmar always means a lysa says, who mitzvah's lysa said to keep your word. Basisa, and you should do is as hard the bez and shiyasu. But it's a warning to bez that they could force you to do it. Kashener darta, zenedr. That means that you have to keep your nether. Yeah. That you, these are things that you have to, you have to keep your word. Nedava, kimashmoi, and nedava sounds like when you make that's poshit that when it's whenever you mashma that's what you like when I'm out. So it's mashma that you have to give a present and you have to give it in a timely fashion. Asher di barta, elu kachu be That's anything that you promise to give to the to the treasury of the base of Iktus, right? Beficha. What's been in your mouth that's talking about tzedakah, right? That you have to, if you're going to say that you're giving tzedakah, then you have to give it, right? That's also a major, that's also a major Allah, that when you, when you promise to give tzedakah, then you have to give it. That's a big shayla, right? When uh, you have money, you see a shnara coming, coming around in the shul and you put money, you take some money in your hand and then the shnara never comes to you. That's a big shayla that you have to give it to him. You got to go track that guy down to give it to him. Yeah. You have to track it down or you have to give it to Tzedakah anyway? No, no, no. Really, if you had it in mind, it's got to go to that guy. The past? Yeah. You had in your head that you, what? Yeah, I had this. I remember one time you said that once you say you're giving it to this, I had to find this guy all the way yeah, like, the hallway. 
Yeah, so what you should do is make a tonight that any time you promise to give tzedakah or any time you put your, po- your hand in your pocket, you should just have in your head that you're that you're it's not becoming that person's until you actually give it to him. Meaning, when you put your hand in your pocket, you're giving it to tzedakah, you're not necessarily giving it to this specific fellow. You're saying only, the only once you hand it to him. What? They prepare on your thoughts. In your thoughts, as long as you have it in your thoughts like that. You're having this in your thoughts in the middle of in the middle of no 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 I'm saying like right now you should say to yourself that whenever I reach my hand into my pocket it's not doesn't mean that I'm giving it to that specific guy it only it's only my head my das is only to give it to that specific guy when he um, when he actually gets handed the money till then till then it's not it's not an it's, meaning it's one big family nether. That's what you. That's what you should have in your mind. But what I'm saying, if a person has in mind to give somebody, he has to give it to him. Yes. Or he has to say, "Prepare, I want to give." No, it. it's even in your mind. Even Why? Your what mind. did you do? What, well, how did yeah. you include it? Because yeah. when you your das was to give your das, when you ate yeah, a month, it doesn't say about das. It's how 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 is a coin make your two thousand dollar bull into piggle? It was just in your it mind. It was a separate yeah, thing. No, but pickles in your mind. That's what you should try to say. I didn't pickles, say pickles are separate then. Good. So maybe this has the same same it says type of thing. It doesn't say anything. What? No, that's the first one. This is a different one. This is the other one is for tzedakah when you when you promised it. So how did you right? promise it? How did it say in you your because in your mind, in your mind, you this from the I'm asking you, where does it say that? What do you mean? When you you're Oh, you mean because it says Beficha? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah, so what I mean, how else? No, the question is... No, if you do Beficha, then you mechai yourself. Unless if you don't do Beficha, so you're not mechai yourself. Um, no, but the thing is, the Beficha, we're darshaning Beficha because... It's extra. Like, how else do you? Of course, it's beficha. How else do you make a? How else do you make a nether? Right. So we're saying that it means tzedakah. It's telling right? you that if you open up your mouth to say stuff, you have to follow through on this. No, but that's what the Gemara said. That's what Rashi is saying. The word beficha. Well, okay, we're stopping here anyways for the island that wants to stop. So uh, we'll do tomorrow. President Shem five twenty. Yeah. So uh, the beficha is saying that it's an extra puzzle. Right? It's an extra buzzer because how else do you tell anybody you're being, giving tzedakah? How is he giving tzedakah? So then, uh, um, right? So we're saying that that's tzedakah, that there's such a concept of being mechayr of yourself to give tzedakah, even, even, even with mashaba. Here it's not, I'm, it's not based on this. Just I'm just saying the din is that if you promise to give tzedakah, then that's... Uh, that's what you got to do. Clear, it could be based on this. Uh, That's next circle. What? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Able to do it. Coverage. My wife is finished training. I hear you. We're on vacation. Hold on a second. We're going to Rochester. Memphis. Finish the Rochester. Wow. We're going to Memphis. We're watching that job. Memphis sounds like a good place. What? Sounds like a Gishmaka place. Everybody that comes out of Memphis has got okay. <laughs> Going down there. All right. Ready now. Here we go. Okay, where? Wow. All right, maybe we'll have to make a road trip. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good to see you. Okay, what are you saying? Here? I'm sorry. I I, th- I thought what you were saying before was correct. The fika Rashi says is cry your seira, meaning that correct. If right. if Zev was correct, that it only means when you speak it out. That's already from the for Moitzas You already have correct. It. If right. you say that you're going to give stock, you have a mitzvah say to give stock from Moitzas Vasecha. So the fika tells me even when it's not Moitzas Vasecha, even Rachel. When you read, right, yeah, yeah, right. That's from this pasuk exactly. Yeah, that would be, for Yaakov, that's classic. 
both sukkim talk about you have to say it with your mouth, but one is extra, so therefore it means you don't have to say it with your mouth. Classic. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand how it works in Matthias. How what works? How You're is saying it how work? it works that at the peak of us is uh, that it goes with Machshava. If we understood how any drasha works, we'd probably understand this. I mean, it's a drasha. I don't remember how the Machaber says yeah, it. You could use, a, oh, excuse what me. You say? I'm saying you could use the Zeb, you could use Rafutna's Vart in this. In this. Rafutna says everybody's reality is in their own mind. That's where your reality is. That's it. This year we had the 15 guys, and each person took something different from this year. It was a different reality for each person here. Right. None of us each not, not each none of us saw this year the same way. So that's so in his his reality was he wanted to he said in his head, I'm giving Yanka look a dollar stalker. So we that was his reality. Uh, oh, yeah. Somebody has in his mind he wants to lend the guy $10,000. All of a sudden, the reality is he has to give the money. Lending is not stuck. No, what is it? What? It's not. Uh, all right. It's, it's, it's a separate stuck. mitzvah of lending money. It's a mitzvah. Yeah. It's not It's, it's not stuck. So, so it only applies to stuck in Machshav? That's what it says. You have to check you that. said that. It's not like you can right, use your mind, if is, I have mind says, to steal from someone. Says, it's not a Geneva. Gershon wanted to punch me in the head 15 minutes yes. ago. But he did it. So, so, <laughs> so he's not he's not really lachai of anything. He wanted to. No, he wanted to, but he didn't. So he's not really lachai. Right, that's that's that's, that's Rechilis. I never had such a thought. <laughs> okay. Well, good. So now I gave you a good idea, Hachik. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll see you. Good tonight. Good tonight, everybody. Good tonight. Yes, I can't find a shulchan aruch to look it up. I'll look it up later. Whatever. What hook is Yeah. I don't have one. Yeah. Yeah. I I didn't find anything good with the the wife thing. I it was bothering me. I don't know how, how are you learning. Everyone dies. What is this? What does it mean, Stanazay? What's the Taich? Ishte what? Mesa. What's the Stanazay? What's the Taich? It must mean I thought it meant before him. I thought it meant before him while he's while she's his wife. She's supposed to die afterwards. She's generally younger. That's what I would think, bro. So if she dies while he, while he's alive. It's against the Teva. I mean, there's other ways of dying. It means uh, some kind of death that's unexpected. That's not, and he would blame himself because that's the Derech B'nai Adam. The Torah say, no, don't blame yourself. You still have to do tshuva, but it's not your fault she died. Right. Right. Um, I don't know. I, I just had this shmuz with someone today. Someone who's a, uh, Relative of his died. <coughs> He's blaming himself. Oh, it's completely out of your hands. You can't blame yourself. Close relative. Uh, there you go. Somebody just texted me. I can't, you can't make it up. What? That he wants to back out of a contract that was not a star. <laughs> Promise. <laughs> <laughs> I exactly. was thinking, what, what, about, what about the whole shaving, Subya? What about it? I'm saying for when you come. Oh, you got a one track mind, man. <laughs> Listen, I told you I'm consistent. I, I may be consistent in being crazy, but I'm consistent. <laughs> oh, whatever subject you want. I should stop recording. Yeah. <laughs> um,